What's up guys, it's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming, and this is another Java game programming tutorial. So the last time we left off, we made our wave class, which allows our enemies to spawn intermittently and forever as of now. And this time we're going to create our player class, or at least the beginning of our player class, which is a way for us to kind of interface with the world that we're in. Um, so let's see. We're going to want a couple of variables up here. I think first we're going to want a copy of the grid. So tile grid. And we'll probably want... Well, we're going to want a list of the towers we're going to make eventually, but we don't have the tower class created yet. So I think actually all we need for the constructor is just the grid. So public player that takes a tile grid. We're going to say list.grid equals grid and let's make something to allow it to directly interface with the game world so some of you were asking in the comments to make some kind of level editor or to expand the one we have and the first step of that is to change the tiles with our uh, mouse pretty much you'll you'll see what I mean I guess um, so we're gonna make a public void set tile method and I know that the the grid already has a method similar to this and we're gonna make use of that um, but we're gonna implement some kind of uh, input from the mouse here so let's see let's do grid dot set tile the x coordinate and the y coordinate um, for the X, I believe it's going to be mouse. We might need to import something here. Dot get X. Maybe not. Oh, it imports automatically, so make sure you import that. Mouse dot get X. That's track, uh, tracking the X coordinate of our mouse cursor, where it currently is. Divided by... Hmm. Divided by the tile size, which is 64 for us. And I think that should be it. We should floor it too. So before mouse.x say math dot floor and you're gonna put not floor div, just floor and put this stuff inside of that for this x coordinate here. Not floor div, what the heck? There we go. So math.floor what that does is it just it's kind of like rounding, except it only rounds down to the next whole number. So math.floor, mouse, it's, there's some kind of tsunami warning going outside, but the show must go on, you guys, even if it's the last thing I do before my house is swept away. Grid.set tile, I just hope it's not too loud in the audio. Math.floor, mouse.getx, divide by 64, which is the size of our tiles, and then for y, it works a little bit differently. Um, we actually need the screen height, which do we have that anywhere? Is a uh, saved in a variable screen height? Not yet. Let's see. Where do we in initialize the? Uh, oh, it's in the artist class. That's right. Helpers artist height. Okay, it's inside the artist class. So let's in our player class let's import the artist stuff. Import static helpers dot artist dot star and now we should have access to the height of the screen so for our y it's going to be height well actually to start it's going to be math dot floor and then inside of these parentheses it's going to be height minus mouse dot get y minus one and we're going to divide all this by 64 so we're actually going to put another parenthesis, put more parentheses around this. Oops, don't we do that. There we go. And before the last one, put divided by 64. And here, let me put this on the new line so it looks easier. And type. Oh, we need a tile type to change it to. So tile type dot water. Um, set tile. Why is that not working? Int int tile type. Oh, we need to cast it as an int as well. Int 
and it's because I think it returns a float. All right, so we have no errors. Um, so hopefully this all works. I think it should. I think the math is correct, but if not, we'll, we'll tell what's wrong. Um, now we just need some way to activate this. So let's see. There's a couple different ways we could do it. Let's try for now just putting it inside of our update so that it runs every time. So we'll actually just call set tile and see if the uh, change of the tiles even works. So after we draw and after we update, let's call, well first we need to make a new player. So below our wave, let's say player, player equals new player. We need to set our grid in there too. So send it grid. And then after wave.update, let's do player dot set tile. And if it worked, then it should change the tiles that our mouse is over to water. All right. Cool. So this is kind of the beginning of our level editor. Um, at least a better way to edit levels than we have right now, which is just all the characters inside of the code. Uh, obviously, we'll make it so you can switch tiles between water and other stuff, and we'll also obviously make it so that you need to click to change it. But that involves some uh, some keyboard inputs and also some mouse clicking inputs, so I figured I could just do that next time and keep it nice and short and simple. So that's it this time. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.